So I've had a lot of requests asking me how it is I create my videos for Instagram. So without further ado, this is how I do it. So first things first, I record myself doing several different workouts all in the same day. And sometimes I might switch out clothes between filming the routines just to kind of give it the you know, the, the feeling that it's, it's a different day that I've recorded a video. Um, so I'm doing a lot of stuff just all at one time to save myself time so that I'm not filming myself all throughout the week doing different stuff. But so once I have all of my stuff filmed, what I'm going to do is, is from my iPhone, and this is strictly off from iPhone. I don't know how this would work if you have an Android phone, so I'm sorry. I don't know the apps that would be best to do all of this. But once you uh, have your stuff recorded, you're going to open up your iMovie on your iPhone, and you are going to click this little plus sign at the very bottom. Then you're going to click on Movie. Up at the very top right-hand corner, you're going to click Create. And then from there, I'm reading the directions. I'm going to tap on that little icon to select the video, photos, or audio. So I'm going to click on that little film roll with the music note next to it. I'm going to open up my videos. And... I'll just do this one right here. So this is the one I'm going to cut and edit for Instagram use. So I have it opened, and then I clicked on the film roll. If you see it, it's yellow down at the bottom. So I clicked on that film roll. So you click on it, and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background noise from the video. Um, I wish I didn't have to because it's beautiful waves and beach sounds in the back, but um, I'm going to be showing you how I add music to this. So I'm going to have to remove the audio. So once you click on the film roll at the very bottom, then you're going to see all this menu pop up at the very bottom down here. Um, so I'm going to click on the little speaker that is underneath where it says detach. And then from there, I'm going to remove the sound, take it down all the way to mute. So now there's no music on this entire thing. So from there, I'm going to scroll through. I'm going to just start looking through my video and finding like solid points that I am going to want actually in the video. So I'm just going to start here. I clicked on the film roll. I'm going to click on this little scissor icon. <clears throat> Once I click on that, I'm going to click split. Then the stuff before, this stuff right here, before this little icon right here, this stuff to the left is video footage I don't want in. So I clicked on that, and now I'm going to click on delete in the very bottom right-hand corner. Sweet. So now that gets rid of that. From there, what I'm going to do is, is I've noticed, hey, I want to zoom in on this. So I'm just showing you guys what the zoom feature is. So I clicked on the film roll again, and then once I click on it, you can go up to the top here, and you see that little magnifying glass um, in the actual video footage at the top. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass, and then it says pinch to zoom video. So I'm going to take my both of my thumbs, and they're touching together, and then I'm going to press on the um, on my iPhone on the video and I'm gonna pull to create the zoom feature so now I have it zoomed in more you see like you can control it so like the video is always at this vantage point or maybe it's this vantage point you could even zoom in like this far I mean I don't want that far Ooh. so I'm gonna take it out a little bit and right here this looks good. So, all right, so that's where my zoom is going to go to. So after I do that, and of course you can always re undo it by just doing this. You know, you're going to pull your two thumbs to one another while you're touching your iPhone screen. So let me go ahead and zoom back in 
All right, cool. So this is how I want it. So now I'm just going to go, I'm going to click on the film roll at the very bottom. I'm going to count out about three reps. So there it was one, two, three. Sweet. Okay, so from there, now I'm going to click on the film roll. And then I'm going to click split because that's where I want to split it at. And I'm going to go all through this and find where my next move picks up. So all I'm doing is, is I am pressing on the film roll and sliding my thumb to the left to go through. Okay, so here starts a new move. So now I'm going to, after I've browsed through to the next move, I'm going to click on that film roll again. I'm going to click split. And now this stuff to the left is stuff that I don't want. So I'm going to click on that again. And after I click on that, I'm going to go to the very bottom. I'm going to click on delete. And now you can see, if you see this, um, this play button, well, on my iPhone, I'm going to click on this little button, this rewind button. And that's going to shoot me all the way to the very start of this clip. So you see it takes me right here. So now I'm just going to slide my thumb over. One, two, three. Sweet. So now I'm going to click on the film roll again. Click on split. And that's where I want that to stop. All right. So now I'm just sliding through onto the next move. Uh, I, I do this again. I want... Okay. So sweet. So this is where I want the next move to start. So I clicked on the film roll at the bottom. And now I'm going to click on split again. And now I'm going to go back to the left to all that film I didn't want. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on delete. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to press on this little rewind to take me to the very beginning of this clip. So we got one, two, three. Oh, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and split that again. And now I'm going to take this film roll and I'm going to see where the next move starts. Okay, so I did it easy and now it's harder right here. Okay, so cool. So I'm going to do three starting here. So I'm going to click. Whoops. Don't want to do that. I mean, if you click on this little uh, the circle with the three circles, <laughs> Um, you could change the filter, which this is a new setting on iMovie that wasn't ever there before, but I'm just going to do good old-fashioned none. So then going back, I'm going to click on the little pair of scissors. I'm going to click on split. Then I'm going to go back to the left, and I'm going to delete this entire roll. So now I'm going to press play. One, two three. Perfect. So I'm going to click on split again. Okay. And then I'm going to delete this stuff from the very bottom. Um, so this is 18 seconds, almost 19 seconds long. So this isn't going to do for Instagram. Remember, your Instagram video needs to be 15 seconds. So let me see if I can speed up time here. Sweet. All right, so I can. So I'm going to speed up one of these moves to help alleviate some of the time that is remaining. So how I'm going to do that is, is I'm just scrolling through. Sorry, I'm just mindlessly scrolling here. I'm going to go ahead and take this move, and I'm going to shorten this up. So I clicked on the film roll, that little clip of that move, and then from there I'm going to click on the little time, little time guy right there to the right of the pair of scissors. I'm going to click on that. And then you see this little scale, this little like measurement scale to the bottom. I'm going to shoot that on over to the right, which is going to shorten this clip. So let me see. 
All right, so I have 16 seconds, almost 17 seconds left. So I didn't really remove all that much. So I'm going to quicken up another one of these moves. So I'm going to quicken up this guy. Ooh, almost too much. Okay, so I shortened this one up. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten up another one. Okay, this, this is going to have to do. So I got it down to 14.9 seconds. That last second doesn't mean to least squat. All right, so from there, you know, you can add like a cool transition. So the transitions, how you do that is, is see how this white horizontal bar or vertical bar is over top of this little, little other little thing? <laughs> You're going to click on that guy. And then from there, you can do any kind of transition. So here, I'll show you what this looks like. So I added that little transition. So I'm going to click on this play, and it's going to start playing. How? Oh, see, so you saw that little transition. And there, there was no transition. So let me show you what this transition looks like. I'm going to do the fade transition, which actually shortens up the video a little bit. So I'm going to end up removing these, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm showing you what this looks like. So let's hit play so you can see what the transitions look like. So there's that. Sweet, cool, awesome. And there's no transition there. So I'm going to go ahead and actually remove these transitions. And I'm going to show you how to do that by using the undo feature on iMovie. So iMovie has an undo feature, and it's to the right of the play button. So that little arrow that is pointing back on itself, you're going to click that. So that removed that transition you saw there. And now I have this transition, and watch that one remove. I'm going to do it again. Sweet. So that gets me back up to 14.9. So you can do that undo process on anything. And I don't know how many times you can do it. Like, you can really screw up your video by doing way too much and undo it a lot using that undo feature. Uh, you can also add text to your video, um, but I choose not to do that because I like to use VidLab to add text. So let me show you where we go from here. So I am going to, now that I'm done, I'm going to save this video to my phone. So I'm going to click on that top left-hand arrow button. And then from there, on this screen, I'm going to click this middle guy, um, this middle one to the left of the trash can. And now I'm just going to click Save Video, and I'm going to choose Large. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of iMovie, and I'm going to open up VidLab. I'm going to do start a video project. Whoop. Okay. So now from here, I am going to click on my photo library, which is to the right of the big red button. I'm going to do video. And I'm going to go and I'm going to click today. I'm going to choose this video. And then I'm going to go up to the top hand right corner and click that arrow. And then from here, I'm going to click on the size that I want as original, which with using original size, what it'll do is, is it'll keep the integrity and the size of the video. Otherwise, if you choose square, it's going to kind of like zoom in on your video and make it look boxy. Uh, but I choose original because I like the, the um, white space that surrounds my video, which you'll see. <clears throat> All right, so now you can see what my video looks like here. Now, had I gone with square, this white space here that you see at the top and the bottom, that wouldn't be there. Um, all right, so from here, I am going to add a track to my video. So I clicked on add a track, go to add music, from library, artist, ah, I thought I deleted that. Ah! 
Okay, well, obviously, all I have on my phone is a freaking YouTube video, or YouTube, um, CD. Shit, I thought I synced this. Okay, well, too late. I'm just gonna have to put a YouTube song to my video. Woo! Okay, awesome. So, Raised by Wolves, that sounds... Oh, what? Oh, you booty butt. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I... Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, oh, dude. All right, well, let's just envision then that you placed a song on here. Um, so after it loads up the song, then what you can do is you can browse. You can, like, move the song to a position that you want it. You can sync it to the chorus. You can sync it to the hook, all of that kind of stuff. So that is kind of... That's simplified on its own. But, um, so let me show you how to add text then to this video. Damn, that really sucks. All right, so I'm going to say beach core work. It's the name of my video. Sweet. Okay, so uh, you can change the fonts. I like to keep this font. <clears throat> I like to go with, like, blue and green. So here I'm just kind of, like, Pressing my thumb on this screen, just kind of going at it, finding the color that I want. So the color I'm going to go with. Um, now, to make the font bigger, you're just going to click on the little arrow thing right to the next, right next to where it says Beach Core Work. So you're going to do that. And you're just going to level it up wherever you want. Um, I'm going to add, also add transitions to this. So you can add a shadow. I'm not going to have a shadow. And then there's other stuff you can do, but I'm not going to do any of that. So, all right. So as you see down here um, where it says beach work at the very bottom, it's where it's positioned right now, it's only going to play for a short period in the video. I'll show you. Watch. So you only see it that short time, but I want it to show the entire time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, you're going to go down to where it says Beach Core Work, and you're going to pull the right little circle all the way to the right as much as you can. And then the left one, I'm going to pull that all the way to the left as much as I can. So then now when you see it, it's going to play the entire time. Okay. I'm going to want to add a transition into this as well. So I double clicked on where it said beach core work on the bottom. And now I'm going to make an animation in and an animation out. So... I want it to animate, I want it to do this, this one to the left underneath delete. And then I want it to animate out. So I'm going to click on where it says animate out. And I'm going to want it to do the opposite. I'm going to want it to do this one right here. So you see that. All right, so let's see how that looks then. The animate in and animate out. So there's animating in. There you see my video with no freaking music. <laughs> That's all right, though. And now it animated out. So sweet. That's exactly what I want. But I wanted to also have my Facebook, or I'm sorry, my Instagram username in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So now I'm going to change the color. Can't exactly get the color right. Um, as the first one, which is kind of a bummer, kind of sucks that it's not, you can't recreate that same color. Um, but what of? Just going to change that, put this here on the bottom here. And then I'm going to drag it so it plays throughout the hole. And actually this, I want this to be here the whole time. So I'm not going to animate it in or animate it out. Now, you could play around with some other stuff, like add artwork. I don't do that. I don't add filters. This is my video. So this is 
this is how I do my videos. And then I just freaking upload these to Instagram and bam. I mean, I've had one video go viral. I created a video over a year ago and I've seen it on Facebook. I have people resharing that sucker still from time to time. And when that is reshared, I get close to 2,000, 3,000 people new following me every time. So with consistency on your videos, sorry, I'm gonna hit save to gallery. So with consistency over time, you're going to see something really beautiful happen with your videos because they could go viral. So that's it. That's how you recreate Kelly Hanner's freaking videos. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, guys.